How's it going? How are you? Sean, can I do one uh, Chick-fil-A biscuit and then a spicy Chick-fil-A biscuit and then the uh, four count of the Chick-fil-A chicken minis and that's it. You want the meal for the chicken? Minis? No, just the single items. $14.98. All right. Thank you so much. So it has been 1,892 days, seriously, I looked this up, since I've had Chick-fil-A. Lionel and I both forgot our sunglasses today. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do I know that number? Because when you do a lot of... Am I boring you? Just mooning the camera. <laughs> I know. How do I know that number? Because the last time I ate there, I filmed it, and then I just Googled how long it's been since that date. <laughs> Pretty simple. Yeah. When you have to pull up and they give it to you, does that mean it's piping hot? I feel like dollars to donuts, Chick-fil-A is the most like popular, like people are crazy about it, like the most cult following obsession fast food place in America. It's just something about it. The menu's not even that vast. It's just people lose their nuts about it. <laughs> Dollars to donuts, blow off your nut nuts. Thank you so much. It's food, what are you gonna freak out for? He stuck his whole head in the bag. Time to smash the 1892 cold streak. Barely a sentence. Lionel has no idea that I'm gonna give him Chick-fil-A. He looks a little more interested. <laughs> kind of looks not that impressed by any of this. Very studious kind of look that you got going on. All right. Today's video paid for and brought to you by Mr. Michael Stevens. <laughs> Doesn't care about my career or what I do. Just so not interested until the calories started coming. When I lived in Jacksonville, Florida back in 2012, 2013, uh, there was a Chick-fil-A very close to my apartment and my boss at the time loved Chick-fil-A and so I would really only ever get it with him. So I probably in my life have only eaten Chick-fil-A about, I mean five or six times maybe, but only like once in Chicago, maybe twice, years and years ago. So Michael Stevens loves Chick-fil-A. He saw the kind of hungover version of me doing Hardee's when I was on my way back from the Upper Peninsula. Your hungover voice is anything but sexy, but you will look sexy as you shove a Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit into your mouth hole. And then also, forgot you were Shawnee fucking two Sammy's, so get the spicy chicken biscuit as well. It's my go-to. And he donated again. Oh, and Editing Bay Sean needs something other than Malort in his diet. Get those chicken mini biscuits as well. Little nugs of deliciousness. I also want to point out, Michael is a friend. Um, he's awesome. But he donated five plus five plus 369, and this meal was 1438. So I will be billing you. Take a receipt for tax purposes and also to make fun of him. What am I supposed to lose money on this whole thing? I get it, the editing and the driving. D I just want to get from my car to the office without being confronted by the decay of Western society. Plus, I'm cheap. <sighs> Little tiny guy. All right, this is the original. The biscuit is falling apart. The original chicken biscuit. Hey, Lionel. Here, I brought one for you too. Don't forget to bring a towel. Do you want like a? Do you want like a bib? Here, let me tuck this in for you. Not like that. There, he's ready. <laughs> Ooh, the spicy one looks so much better. Oh, it's tenders instead of like one big filet. It's two spicy tenders. It does look way, way better though. Lionel, you can't have any of this one. Mm. You're gonna get some, hold on. Mm. <laughs> Okay, he's got his bib on. I got my Willie Nelson shirt on. All right, your biscuit falls off, it goes to the dog. So always give your dog the first bite. They are the whole reason we're here. Good boy. Ooh, that was a long saliva. Here you go, get some more. Good boy. All right, my first Chick-fil-A in nearly 2,000 days. Thanks, Michael Stevens. Damn. It's honestly like having it for the first time again. Mm. Mm. Those hardcore Christians know how to make chicken. Want to try Chick-fil-A chicken for the first time? I love taking like a five year break on a fast food restaurant. Totally revives it. Now I know why they love it so much. I feel like I can see Jesus. It's a crummy mother effer, huh? All right, let's get into the spicy one. Spicy chicken biscuit with the tendies. Oh my God. 
Or they somehow make tenders out of dark meat. That is so tender. Oh my God. Holy sh**. How big has Chick-fil-A gotten? 2,818 locations. Founded 76 years ago in Georgia. Not shocking. Oh wow, I would have thought they were outside of like North America. They're only in the US and Canada. Damn. You want some more mild biscuit? Don't be dropping crumbs. We got the vacuum, but you can't sit. Don't be dropping crumbs. <laughs> These tenders. I don't even want the biscuit. That's insane. Is that the best tender in fast food? I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm like blown away by that. You can't have the spicy ones, dude. I don't want to be cleaning up all day. <laughs> Gross. I thought a fun question to talk to you guys about in the comments today. What is like your pet's favorite human food? People food. Like my childhood dog loved noodles, like plain bow tie noodles. Whenever we'd have them in the strainer before pasta night. Also loved cherry tomatoes. Like we had tomatoes in our garden. And Chucky would come running. Yes, Chucky he was a do he was a miniature dachshund. He'd just come running, and he loved cherry tomatoes. Lionel loves popcorn, like buttery, salty popcorn. Obsessed with like anything cheesy, like pizza. When we grate cheese on like pastas, the shredded cheese out of like a Taco Bell taco, and also like peanut butter fiend gets it caught in his, his uh, wisdomy beard. You like biscuits? I don't know if he's ever had like a southern biscuit before. It's ridiculous. When I moved to Chicago 10 years ago, there were zero Chick-fil-A's in the city. Now there's like 18. They're downtown, they're in the South Loop, they're friggin', oh, these are adorable. It's like a little chicken popper on a, it's not a biscuit, Michael. You said biscuits, they're like little, Lionel's very intrigued, like butter rolls. Those chicken tenders are spicy, my mouth's feeling it. Look at this. Mm. You can't have one. I, if I gave you all, if maybe if you were a puppy, we'd give you some of these, but like this is, I'm afraid what that might do to your old ass man stomach. I haven't had one of these since I lived in Jacksonville, so it's been over 10 years. That's like a King's Hawaiian roll. That's not a biscuit, that's like a sweet, there's a sweetness in that bread. Oh my God. That's revolutionary. Drive quieter. All right, I'll give you like a little bit of the burnt, like the little crispy chicken edge and then a little bit of this sweet biscuit. He hasn't had people food in so long, this is like a treat for him. <laughs> Damn. I'm also a noob. I should have gotten Chick-fil-A sauce on the... <laughs> you like that one the best. High five. High five. All right, you can have a little more of the sweet biscuit. I can't believe I'm saying this, like, the food is so good, it doesn't even need a sauce. Like, I know Chick-fil-A sauce is the real deal. I should have gotten it. But it's so good, it like doesn't even need it. This bread is moist. I also wanted to bring the number one power seed on the vlog into the episode today, because a lot of people are like finding the vlog and getting to know me and don't know Lionel's backstory. So Lionel is a Parson Russell Terrier, which is like a weird Jack Russell Terrier that's from like Norway. He's mixed with something weird. Maybe mixed with like a Greyhound or a Whippet or a Beagle or something. I rescued him when he was super young in 2011. So Lionel is 11 years old. He just had his 11th birthday. You would never know it. He's had the same energy from the moment I took him home to today. <laughs> like he's chilling the car. Like he used to be way more like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He has lived in three states, Michigan, Florida, and Illinois. Lionel had his own brand sponsorship with Firehouse Subs, where literally I was commissioned to do work because of having Lionel. Like he was in all like the rescue, like all the pet rescue and like fun, like charity donation work that Firehouse did. They used Lionel as the dog in the videos. He's been in so much of my work, they request him by name. Lionel has brought me more money than Allie, so therefore, <laughs> that's how I rank people in my life, Lionel is number one. He's probably locked at number one. Let's see, what else have you guys asked? Lionel's favorite type of treats, if you want to send any, because people do ask. He loves anything bacon and cheesy, or like peanut buttery. He's also a big fan of blueberry and stuff. These spicy tenders are like blowing me away. I don't even like need a sauce. I'm like actually blown away. Fire. Want a little more biscuit? Don't worry, it's always from the mild one. I'm not giving my dog heat. <laughs> Lionel has run a 5K and got a medal. I don't know, if you have other questions about the dog, let me know. I'll, I'll try to answer them in future videos. And take Lionel. This is another hashtag drive through series. When I'm like near Chicago and I can go out and do them, I want to bring Lionel and just chill and bro out. 
Because like sometimes when I'm editing and working so much, I, you ever like work so much and you're so focused on what you're doing all day, and at the end of the day you're like, dude, I give like no love to my dog. Like he was just watching me work. Lionel sits in this little pet bed by me and just waits for me to be available. So today we're having a bro day. That's why he's getting cheap meals. These should really, I'll be honest though, these should really come with a sauce. Like you shouldn't even have to ask. I'm making excuses. A little sweet biscuit. Michael, despite you not having enough money to pay for this meal, I'm so happy you suggested this. I'm also mad at myself because I have a whole bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce in my fridge. You should have brought it. They had somebody taking my order like you saw so you don't have to like do it through the window. <laughs> Sean, spelled wrong, blue sedan. Little blue sedan. That's not the lyrics. Also real quick, I want to give a shout out to D. Cohen for super thanksing on the vlog. Uh, saw the uh, Lunchables Tito's Vodka episode and donated 10 bucks. Tip in the show so I can buy more Tito's. <laughs> so D, thank you. Super thanks to show if you want a shout out to video. D, I love you. Also, Quentin Nelson, after seeing the Gizzards episode, donated a bunch of money. My new godfather of the internet and in real life. Uh, so Q, thank you. A lot of gracious folks making this fun. I think I like those sweet rolls better than the biscuits at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> also, if you live in Chicago and you're wondering where the drive through location was, because most of the Chick-fil-A's in Chicago are like no drive through So if you want to not go in, I'm in the South I'm in the South Loop. I sound like, you see the slip on your juice. I sound like Cindy. Here, hit the road, bad seed. Excuse me, but the juice will make your shoes slip. What? Your shoes will slip in the juice. The chicken is so much better than their biscuits. One last piece of chicken, then we got to get out of here. All right, we got to eat it at the same time. Ready? Pound it. Pound it. <laughs> to be fair, he knows shake and high five, not pound it. <laughs> All right, we gotta bang this tray out. Oh, do you wanna lick this like tray a little bit though? No? Okay. I was feeling extra sassy. I was fat and sassy. I love that clip so much. Didn't just get all fat and sassy. I was feeling extra sassy this morning and I had a bunch of money on my Starbucks account. Cause like, I had this one client that I haven't ever said anything. They only pay me in Starbucks gift cards. <laughs> and I think it's like funny, like I do video editing for them and we're like chums. So like I get a bunch of Starbucks gift cards and <laughs> I, I hate Starbucks. Like their coffee tastes like death. And <laughs> and I ha so I like I have one by my house. So I like when I pass it on the way back from the gym, I'll grab it. For I hate their iced coffee. So I got triple espresso and I added two more shots. So in a grande cup. So it was five total shots. Speaking of death, don't lick that. Don't even need to use the power washer. It's just Lionel in the cup holder down there. It's just like, good boy. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, I did bring some Batman treats. You've had a lot of good food today. I'm gonna have to take you for a walk immediately. We're gonna go to the park and have a bro day. The Teddy Graham-like treats have been very popular, Brent. I mean Batman. Here you go. Guys, thank you so much for watching this little Chick-fil-A vlog. This was super fun. Um, glad I get to spend many a day with you on your phone, tablet, or computer, or television. And uh, I'll see you very soon for another episode. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal. The money goes towards buying the food, the gas, putting the show together. So I appreciate everybody that does that. People have just donated for me and Allie to get dinner. I truly couldn't love this community more. It's not one of those big millions of subscriber channels where if you feel so removed from the host. I just, I love you so much for loving this show. Chick-fil-A breakfast up, Chick-fil-A breakfast down. Michael Stevens, I love you, you beautiful idiot. I'll see you very soon. Say bye. Say bye. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel trying to flip it out the stove. Rockin' fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch take my dog away. How do you feel like that went? Do you feel like you held down the number one seed? Are you like the Duke or the Michigan State? I love you. You look all these up. This thing will never not be cool, right? Boop. Oh, cool. A bunch of rappers. All right, so there should be four. You trying to get shanked? One, what the f?
I know I never leave the apartment, but I didn't know Chick-fil-A sold ice cubes. 